Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at these from Cherry. It's the Cherry Stream Desktop. It's a wireless bundle, so you get the keyboard, mouse, and obviously the wireless receiver. The recommended retail price for these is roughly £61.99. We do have links in the description just below if you're interested in purchasing. Okay, so we've got the keyboard and mouse here, or at least the box, as you can see from the box, doesn't say, well, doesn't really say anything on the front other than it's a UK layout. Then you've got a picture of the keyboard, mouse, and the adapter, which does seem to have a red end on it. Um, the picture, that's not a UK layout, but it's obviously saying UK layout, because they've put a UK version in there, they use the same box or anything. I still think they need the model number on the front for anyone who does have a retail store or even doesn't have a retail store and they're putting it on a shelf or whatever just to look nice. They don't know what the model names are. It just doesn't say on the front. It should just be small in the corner if nothing else so people know exactly what it is. What's the point of having a picture on uh, and not the name? Uh, seems a little strange to me. Uh, just a little bit, just a little bit of information there, Cherry. Please put the name on the front. It says Cherry on the uh, lip on the side hard to see but it shows you a side angle of the actual keyboard doesn't show you one of the mouse and then on the back you've got all your different languages on there it tells you about your functions and everything else so inside the box what have we got well believe it or not you've got a keyboard and mouse but not only that you've got all this rubbish here why you need three separate sheets manuals i don't know Obviously, there's lots of languages out there, I understand that, and warranties are different to different places. Just put a QR code inside the box, or even on the box, and that'll take people to the latest information on your website, and they can choose what country. Saves the environment, saves you money printing all this rubbish, and so forth. Who reads this stuff? Not many. It's not needed. Stick a QR code in there. That's all you need. Many other manufacturers do it. Right, little rant over. Let's have a look at the keyboard and mouse. So we'll go for the mouse first. So as you can see, it's a mouse, it's black. The buttons are sort of molded into it so there's not a lack of cut off of the buttons, but they are very quiet. Not sure if you can even hear that. I'm gonna move it right next to my microphone on my shirt. You can probably just hear that. So they are very quiet, the buttons on there. Even the wheel, wheel's probably a fraction louder side buttons are silent as well side buttons are in sort of a lack of reset or a recess should i say not a reset so they don't they're not easy to press in all honesty and it might be because i've got big hands i don't know they just don't feel very tactile to me they could do with sticking out a bit more or getting rid of this recess so it's easier to touch it might be a way to stop people banging and bumping them but it doesn't make it easy to press them. You've got to really give it a press for it to work. You do have a DPI switch on the top, so you can press that. Let's just turn it on just to show you. There you go, you can press that, and obviously it changes the DPI and everything like that. But in the bottom, you have got where the batteries go. It does take one AA battery. It does come with the battery. It does come with an Energizer battery. So they haven't given you some cheap rubbish brand or anything like that that no one's ever heard of. Battery battery from Battery Country or something like that. So it's a proper battery. Uh, so that's pretty good. And then you've got the receiver on the bottom as well, which will plug into your laptop or PC. Not a fan of the red though, guys. I'd prefer it black with maybe red writing on it. Um, I'm guessing you're supposed to be trying to make it look like a cherry or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, if most people these days have got a black case or a black PC or a black laptop, it stands out a little bit. I know you probably want it to with your brand and everything, but I would have preferred to see it black with a little bit of red writing on, otherwise it could look a little bit of an eyesore. So when it's plugged in, it works pretty straightforward. You've just got your DPI button there, which changes the DPI. It doesn't really do much other than that so it seems to be three steps slow medium fast and then goes back to slow again so obviously that's up to you the keyboard itself let me just flip the switch so it was already on, on position already but there's an off and on switch there 
the keyboards there you can see straight away caps lock lights up as well as obviously stuff like number lock uh, which is there and scroll lock which is there as well so you can see them light up and they do work because I pressed the lock button by mistake instead of the number lock and it locked my laptop up so let me just get back in there there we go uh, otherwise the keys itself are quite flat to the casing might be hard to see but it's very much like a laptop keyboard in a way than a traditional keyboard normally the keys stick up quite a bit so if you prefer typing on a laptop you'll like this keyboard and mouse we actually use the stream not this one but the wired version of the stream uh, on our office pc or at least the one in this room anyway and it's very good so it's called the stream and this is uh, the wireless version if i'm right though the standard one with the cable doesn't come with the mouse, but I might be mistaken there. It's been a while since we reviewed that one. But let's have a look at closer look. It says stream at the bottom right. It says cherry there. Nice shiny logo. You've got some media buttons at the top, volume up, down, which is always handy, uh, as well as mute, and then back, forwards, and play. Not sure many people use those these days, to be honest. You've got a lock button there, so that locks your PC. If you've got a password set up, it'll ask you for a password to get back in. Globe, that will take you to your web browser. Envelope is email, that will obviously take you to your email. And that's the calculator, if you didn't figure that one out. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, with obviously email, web browser, uh, you will need to set those up as your default items within Windows. To do that, where it says type here to search at the bottom left on Windows 10, just type in default app, and then you can choose which web browser and which email program you use. Obviously, if you're using something like webmail, gmail, or something like that, the email button won't really help you unless you're using an app like Windows Mail or Outlook or something along that lines. But otherwise, keyboard looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the back. So on the back it's all grey, again construction of the whole thing seems to be plastic, batteries go in the bottom, you've got again two AA batteries and these are energizer batteries as well and it comes with those so it comes with three batteries in total. You've got all your information about what it is there, it's got rubber feet on the front so you've got five and then three on the back which should stop it slipping, let's have a look. Yeah, it holds its ground, so the thing you've seen shake there is actually the table, not the keyboard. And on the back you've also got two feet. Now, they don't seem rubberized, but it seems like a soft plastic on the feet, so that may grip well as well. So let's just have a look. Yep, yeah, so it grips pretty well there. Yeah, so there's going to be no problem with this sliding. Uh, on a standard surface so that is pretty good otherwise on the back there's not a huge amount to see there's no cable tidies or anything like that because there isn't going to be any cables attached to this so you don't need them but otherwise it looks pretty standard on and off switch there there's no pass throughs or anything with it being wireless there's not much else to really say it's pretty decent keyboard very sturdy very strong it's not bending or anything like that it's going to take a bit of a bump and a bang let me just fold the feet in they're quite sturdy as well and strong just to give you an idea I'm dropping this by hmm, probably about 10 centimeters just to give you an idea what it sounds like which gives you an idea what the construction's like as you can tell that is quite a heavy keyboard but it's also well beat built it's a well built keyboard as well so I can't see there being any issues with that keyboard at all. It looks pretty sturdy, and I must admit, I like the standard stream uh, with the USB cable. So this stream set, or stream desktop as they call it, uh, looks like it's pretty ideal. Don't get me wrong, it's not silent. But it's not far off as quiet as you're probably going to get for something you're going to be tapping all day long. Uh, but the mouse itself, you can barely hear. So in conclusion, 
Well, you've got very sturdy wireless keyboard and mouse here. I actually prefer the keyboard slightly more than the mouse. The mouse is let down by those sound buttons to me. They're just not very tactile. Um, you can't really tell when you're actually pressing them and not. Uh, but they are very quiet. The buttons on the mouse are quiet and even the keyboard is very quiet. Again, it's got that scissor design, what you'd normally get in like a laptop. So if you prefer a laptop keyboard, then this keyboard should be the keyboard for you. Now you may be thinking, well, £62 a lot. I've managed to buy wireless keyboards and mouse for 20 odd pounds before. Well, yeah, you may have, but none of them have been this robust or this silent or come with the features like the media buttons and so forth. And again, you are getting a keyboard and mouse and it is a proper brand. I'm going to say Cherry is the mother of keyboards. So I can't do anything but recommend this product. Thank <laughs> you.